Hi, we're here at the first preview of Dear Evan Hansen. It's happening, guys. We're finally on Broadway. We have so many exciting things for you uh, tonight on Periscope. We have interviews with the creative team. We're premiering the music video for Only Us, featuring uh, Ben Platt and <laughs> Laura Dreyfus. And then we're going to do a live video of the curtain call, and then we're going to swing down the stage to the stage door to greet the cast. First, we're going to interview Pascal and Paul and Stephen Levinson. Come on over. Hey guys! Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, it it's first preview! Yeah. It is! How do you guys feel? We, uh, we're really excited uh, and a little uh, nervous, I would say. Nervous, of course, yeah. but um, um, you know, we're thrilled. Uh, our cast for the show is so incredibly talented and tremendous, and uh, they uh, deserve to be seen by all these people that are here. Yeah. So we're excited for, for them to share those performances with the audience. We'll just be pacing in the back of the theater, yeah, exactly. lose some weight during this two and a half hours. You don't mind. You get a Fitbit or something. Exactly. I know. Exactly. It's true. Yeah. Send Fitbit, please. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> please. So, so this journey has been amazing. A year and a half ago, we were in DC. Then we're at second stage. Now we're here. Can you just explain? explain to us that process of like creating an original piece even beyond uh, arena stage and then coming to you. Lev. Yeah, well, it's been an incredible, uh, exciting, terrifying journey and I think every step of the way we just sort of, you know, it's like chipping, uh, chipping a stone and we just get closer and closer to the, the statue within the stone, hopefully, and yeah. you know, each time is another chance to, uh, to get a little bit closer and so we're hoping that we can just keep, keep working and keep pushing forward and making it as good as we can make it and so it's really exciting and it's really it's really thrilling to, to walk out of a theater and you know if you're in Washington DC you walk out and you see wonderful Washington DC but when you're on Broadway you walk out of the music box and you look to the left and you see Times Square it's and it's the most <laughs> surreal it's a very very surreal experience yeah. I think that is exciting because uh, we get to have another audience and I think talking about the journey along the way the audiences have been such a critical part of helping us find what the show is. The audiences in DC were incredible. The audiences in Second Stage were incredible. And that's how we know what's working and what's not working. And what should we cut? What should we keep? What should we do more of? And so we're excited to get another crack at having this wonderful audience in with us tonight and watching them respond to the show. And then we can respond to how they respond. It's true. So we bring up audiences because as I'm sure you have seen, we have amazing fans already. What do you think is about this show, this contemporary musical, that is really connecting with audiences of all ages? Well, I'll say for me, I think that Michael Greif has a big uh, a part to do with that because for me, I was a huge rent head, and anything that he's attached to, I feel like like people become obsessed with. So uh, I, I'm really happy that, that people are liking our show. I just remember when I was like a 14 year old, anything that Michael Greif would say or do, I would like follow. <laughs> yeah, I think I would really credit it to the, the passion of all the rest of the team that's working on it. It's worked so hard. Um, our cast, uh, I think, is filled with um, actors who are beautifully human and complicated and layered, textured characters. And I think anytime you see performances like that on stage, your your heart goes out immediately, and you connect and you access. You are able to access those characters, uh, and also because of Stephen's beautiful script. Um, so I think uh, I think people are finding a way to access it through those elements, and because the people that are working on the show are the team that's part of it is, and has been working their tails off and they're passionate about it, and hopefully that passion shows. The music's pretty good. So yeah. <laughs> he made, he had to say that. Yes. I'm allowed to say that. We paid him a lot of money uh, in the in the dressing room. I do think that this is, you know, they're being very humble, but I do think this is also a score that really reaches people's hearts and speaks to them on a really elemental, visceral level. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think that has something to do with that. <laughs> All right, cool guys. I know there's so many things to do. I know you want to get inside. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping <laughs> yeah, and talking yeah, with right, us. Have a great first Thank you to everyone yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, next up, we have director Michael Greif and musical supervisor Alex Lackmore coming up. So it's really exciting. All right, let's see. There they are. Okay. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hi, hi, how are you? We're here with Alex. Hey! Michael Greif, Alex Lackamore. So how does it feel? First preview on Broadway. Awesome. We're excited that a whole lot of people get to see this beautiful show. Really fantastic. I know the, the journey's been amazing from even before DC to DC to second stage. Can you just like tell us what it's like? I mean, you both have amazing histories with original musicals and original work. So like, what is it like to create a, an original piece from the ground up? Well, I can only say that from the very beginning of this ground up, 
it was clear that this was a beautiful story and it was clear that these writers were telling it in the most extraordinary way and that the actors who were working on it were giving their hearts and souls and great minds to it. So from the very beginning, I think we felt like we were building something special. And I feel very lucky that we've been able to have different faces. Like, having been in D.C., having been at Second Stage, and all the workshops we've done, we've really been able to nurture the piece and just really work on it. So I feel really great about what we're presenting to the world tonight. So this is really the time to do it. What has been the most fun of rehearsals? <clears throat> you go for it. <laughs> for me, it's just working on the music. I, I mean, I, I love the score so much. I, I love... Uh, what Ben Patrick and Justin Hoffman written. I love the scenes that Stephen Levinson has written. It's just like seeing those guys really be so discerning about what they write and just really like not stopping until they feel like they've hit it. You know, it takes a lot out of uh, a writer to just continue to revise and continue to find what they think is the thing. So just watching them go through the process it is really, really wonderful. And we've just been through a process with the acting company because uh, these actors know the piece, it's inside of them, but to, to get back into a rehearsal room and to be open to reinvestigating and to figure out exactly what's happening between the characters, I mean that, that's such an extraordinary privilege to be with a group who knows the piece so well but has all the excitement and courage to reinvestigate. Awesome. Thank you both so, so much. We can't wait to see you. I mean, throughout the stages up to opening night. So thank you both. Have a great, great night. Great to talk to you. Enjoy. Yes, sir. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you all so much for joining us for part one. Stay tuned for about 9.50 p.m. We're going to launch the Only Us music video. So looking forward to seeing you then. Thanks. Let me do that.